oh, hey, welcome. This is tip number 10 for marketing and managing a plaintiff's law firm. Time management is so important to being productive. And what is the biggest impediment to having a productive day? Distractions, interruptions. And you go to the office with a plan and then things start coming at you right and left. And before you know it, it's five o'clock and you haven't done a damn thing. So the number one time management tip I have is get outside the office, work from home or a library, anywhere where you can turn off your phone, turn off the email and just have uninterrupted work time. That is invaluable. Now in our office, we have different types of days. One day is called a focus day. There's also a buffer day and a free day. But a focus day is where it's a gift to one of your team members. You could say they've got a certain project that needs to get done. You give them a focus day or focus time where for, let's say from nine to 12 o'clock, there'll be no interruptions, no distractions, nothing for that team member. You could give this to people. If somebody says to me, I need an entire day to focus on this one project to do discovery responses in the Smith case, fine. I'll give them a focus day. And that means I won't interrupt them. I won't, I won't buzz them. I won't just go into their office. I won't do any of that stuff. And everyone on our team will respect that it's a focus day and they are not to be distracted at all. It's a gift that you give to them so that if they say, look, I didn't have time to do this work. It's like, I'm going to give you as much time as you want. Pick a focus day. And if you need more than one, we'll, we'll do that but let's get the important work that we need to get done. Now, I know an attorney who spends four or five days a week working from home because that's where he's most productive. And if you leave me at home compared to work, I'm much more productive there. Now, one other thing, this is a valuable tip given by a good friend, Chris Nicolason from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Chris says that when people try to violate the focus time and they come into your office, they buzz you, I just need a second of your time. And this actually comes from also a tip from Melissa Shanahan of Velocity Works. Uh, he would say, that's a no. That's a no means you're violating our rules. I'm not gonna deal with this right now. It's gonna have to happen later. That's a no. Uh, so Melissa and Chris, thank you for that tip preventing, setting up a system where you're not gonna be constantly interrupted and distracted from doing productive work. So you can focus on the biggest and highest value cases that you have in your law firm. That's essential to your success. But if you don't set up a system for avoiding distractions and interruptions, I know an attorney uh, named Patrick Higgins, Patrick in Albany, New York, would actually close the door of his office and he put up a sign focus time, no interruptions. So that sign was big, loud, and no one would dare go into his office or even buzz him because that was his focus time. And I, that, that's just one other way of getting this done. It's so critical to having productive time, to avoiding distractions and interruptions. So, so those are really some of my best tips for having a productive day. And that is tip number 10 of marketing and managing a plaintiff's law firm. It, we're gonna have 25 tips. And if you like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment, I will respond, share the video, mean an awful lot to me, and I will see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.